All right. What you see, you can get. If you can see it, if you can imagine it, you can have it and manifest it. So did you get out your goals and or intentions? So I'm going to start with just one of your goals, because what we need to do is we need to really master this process, this universal truth uh, with one goal first. So we know everything begins where? In 4D, which is your imagination, which is what we're focusing in on today. And so this is the practical way that it's going to work. We know that 5D is is more meditation. It's more uh, where God gives you a deeper revelation, but we're just going to deal with 4D. So 4D is your imagination. So what do we know about your imagination? Your imagination is God, that you're face to face with your with your manifestation in your imagination. Um, so simply begin to feel that what you desire is already done, knowing that it is the love, grace, and the power of God that's going to bring it to pass. You're not, you're not by yourself, <laughs> you know, so we're going to walk through this. So uh, in your imagination, picture and see and feel yourself already having, being, and doing the thing that you desire. And I think it was Einstein who said, imagination is a preview of life's coming events. So remember, it's a merger of your thinking, your feeling, and your imagination. Because you can't, if I say a juicy red apple, something is going to happen. You're going to start feeling something. Oh, okay. If I say, uh, I'm going to meet you and we're going to a luxurious restaurant, you begin to picture that in your mind. And so we know that your subconscious is most impacted by your imagination backed by emotion. And your subconscious is the habit consciousness. Your subconscious responds to repetition, habit emotion, um, patterns. So we're really training and or tattooing in our subconscious, which is that fourth dimension, which is that programming mind. It's the habit mind. It's the programming mind. And it is the mind of repetition. So that means that you, whatever you, whatever images you have, you're going to have to do it over and over and over again with emotion, with feelings that this is who I am and this is what I have. So we're not even looking at the 3D world. We're going into that secret place. What is the secret place, Constance? The secret place is your imagination. So think about this. It's all about planting the seed of what you desire with your thinking, emotions, and imaginations into your heart over and over and over and over again. We're going to release that thought, those emotions, and those pictures over and over and over again. Why? Because our subconscious responds to repetition, emotion, uh, programming. Oh, it, 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 it's the habit mind. So if you just imagine one time, that's not going to happen, baby. So does everybody see that? And emotion is powerful because the word emotion is energy in motion. So we are rearranging the light atoms in the universe to align with what we desire with our imagination. I can drop the mic on that one. So does everybody see that? So we are inside. So 
what's the first thing that we do? Y'all already know what, what am I going to say? You need to get clear about what you want. So we, we understand the imagination, right? And so for those of you who say you can't imagine, I got something that's going to help you. I got something written down here. Where is it? Okay. So get clear about what you want. Do you already have that? Uh, write it down. Why is writing important? Because when you write something down, you have to think it. You begin to feel it. And, you know, you can't write something without picturing. If I, if I say I'm so happy about my new black um, E or S class Mercedes, I'm going to see that in my mind. All right. So do you have your goals and intentions written down? Let me see. On your phone. All right. Remember, you do not have to know how. Everything is in what, what RAM? The 4D and 5D RAM. All right, for Christians, it's the finished work, quantum physics, all possibilities ex exist. And so we're going to turn away from that 3D world, your circumstances, your analytical thinking. How can I get a house? I had somebody ask me, to, uh, how can I get a house just like everybody else? So uh, you're going to acknowledge possibly, God, I feel fearful about that. Um, and, and you acknowledge those fear emotions, and then the love of God will dissipate them. So this is how you imagine. I'm going to say, let's start with one goal. And we're going to do this for the next 30 days. And let's just say if, you're, if you have a business. So I'm going to say that you would imagine this just before you go to sleep at night, or you can do it during the daytime if you put yourself in a theta state. I, I, I Sometimes I'll go online, I'll listen to some music, and I'll begin to just imagine. You, you're always thinking in pictures. You're always thinking in images. So we're choosing to feed and tattoo on that habit mind, which is the what? Subconscious mind. Where are we beginning? We're beginning in 4D. So let's just say if you're an entrepreneur, I tell people, write out what your life would look and feel like, and then just begin to imagine it in little snippets. So let's just say you got a great product, uh, for 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 weight loss and healthy eating. So I want you to close your eyes and see yourself at a at an expo. Uh, lots of other entrepreneurs are there and see and feel people coming up to you testing your healthy uh, weight loss drink. What would that feel like? And people say, oh, this tastes good. What would that look like? So you would spend three to five minutes on day one with that snippet. Maybe the next day you could you could see see this. See yourself reading some of the comments on your social media page that says, Oh, I tried this weight loss drink and I've lost 10 pounds and I'm telling all of my friends about it. What would that look and feel like? Get into that. This is mine now. This is what I have now. This is who I am. All right. Also, see yourself looking at your account. And you and you see so much more mon money in there from all the sales. You're like, oh, thank you, God. You're telling your partner, look how many sales I made overnight. You're living there. You see that you're not fantasizing. You are creating your own world. So every day for the next 30 days, you are going to see yourself 
successful, just like John Kerry did when he wrote that $10 million check. What are you doing? You're saying to your subconscious mind, this is who I am and this is what I have. Now you're turning away from your 3D world. So you are accepting the fact that you have your desire now, law of assumption, all right? Or uh, that's never God. Or the Bible says whatever things you desire, when you pray, when you imagine, believe that you have them and you shall have them. So we're not talking about one day. In your imagination, when you are tattooing and and reprogramming your subconscious mind. Why? Because the subconscious mind, remember, don't know the difference between a truth and a lie. And you are assuming that this is true now. Quantum physics says all possibilities exist. Let me use another example. So you're going to do that for 30 days. You're in that fourth dimension realm. And when you're in that realm, the spirit will speak to you and say, um, do more of this. Um, also, go on TikTok and go live or go on IG or do a promotion here. All right, let's just say you desire love. And uh, you may say, Constance, I'm going to use male, female. You might say, Constance, I haven't even seen a man. The only I haven't been on a date. Uh, in 10 years, turn away from your 3D world. Somebody asked me the other day, they said, can older women, can, can, is it hard to meet a man if you're older? If that's what you believe, see it, receive it, manifest it. When you can see it and imagine it, you can have it. And so, Let's just say you're single and you hadn't been on a date. The only man you see, you working from home. The only man you see is the Amazon man or the, <laughs> or, or the postman. You know, you just sort of stuck at home. And that doesn't mean you won't take action. So we're taking one intention and we are mastering that. So we know that when you imagine you see yourself as already having it because it's true. God has already given you all things. All things exist in the quantum world. You're just looking at a possibility and holding that picture and that image and that feeling. You are imbuing and feeling your emotions and your images because emotions are what energy in motion a change of anything on the outside is a change of energy on the inside so these are some snippets you create your own movies but see yourself cooking together what would that look like in your kitchen what would you be chopping up on your cut cutting board? What would he be doing? What recipe is your favorite recipe that you guys could cook together? Feel that, see that, smell that. See yourself sitting down at the uh, at your dining room table, looking at him, and you're like, "Thank you, Father." Another scene could be. Uh, you you go into a restaurant and you know how they asked how many in your party and you hear him say two and when you hear that on the inside you just get butterflies and you say oh thank you god and you're holding hands as you walk to your seat thank you father you feel that you see that you 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 see the dress that you have on you see the sun coming through the window where you guys were seated i'm sure y'all can see that even as as i'm talking about it or or lastly him meeting your friends and family let's just say him meeting your girlfriends and they're all like 
girl, he's so cute. We really like him. He's really sweet. Or meeting your parents and meeting your brothers. What would that feel and or look like? So for the next 30 days, you're going to not work on, but you're going to be uh, 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 depositing in your imagination, remembering that you, your imagination is God. And, and, and somebody said that God is really, it's the love, the grace, and the power of God that's going to bring that to pass. I'm working with a client now who's an entrepreneur. If you're an entrepreneur, you need to work with me. <laughs> I've been in business 25 years and have, have had to make all the switches and changes and the shifts and the trends and all of that. And um, I shared with her, I said, see your business. See, your, see yourself uh, participating in the mutual exchange which is you are exchanging products, goods, or services for money, for compensation. See people ruling and, and raving about your product and or services. So I had her just to imagine that, the confidence of that, and then more money came to her account than it ever did. So what you did is you just recorded your ideal scene. Or you could go online like I did. And Mike Murphy has a free app called the Creation Free Frequency app. Now we know we're going to do this when in the theta state. Why? Because your theta state is the state for programming. Your theta state is the state where you're recording. So we're re-recording over all of that negative stuff about you got to wait, you don't have the money, et cetera. And so doing this 30 days, uh, when you are imagining your ideal scene, I want you to make sure that you're grateful right now because you have it right now. Because really all there is is now. So in your spirit, you're outside time and space. So in your spirit, man, your spirit, man, all, possesses all things. All possibilities exist, but you're just choosing to focus in on this new possibility. All versions of you exist. But in the quantum world, it's what you focus on and, and, and it's what you uh, intentionally look at that is downloaded in your life. Man, time went by too fast. Then you're going to be grateful, you know, knowing that God's spirit, the universe has a million ways, guys. Is it 8.2 million people in the world? to manifest your desires so so sometimes with me i i just think about oh the love of god god loves me so much the grace of god what does grace mean you don't deserve it but god's giving it to you anyway that the entire universe all of the people in asia africa canada south america north america all of the light atoms so when you imagine you're just aligning with, we're not trying to make anything happen. You're just aligning with what you desire. And I think that's all I'm going to say. So are you going to be like Oprah? Are you going to be like Jim Carrey who carried that check around? Some of you would have gotten discouraged. What about... Denzel Washington, who says that that that's how his success came. Are you going to be like Katy Perry, Serena Williams, who imagined? What about Dottie Osteen, who was sick, who just in her imagination used scriptures and saw herself healed and whole? Because it's not up to God. You are the God of your own reality. It's when you choose and accept 
and assume and turn away from your 3D world? If what what would have happened if Jim Jim Carrey had given up? Turn away. Okay, so so you've applied 20 times. I know of a situation where somebody did, and I always tell my clients, thank you, God, this or something higher. And if this doesn't happen, you're going to take all of the experience, all of the juiciness, all of the wonderfulness. I think I just made up that word. That is in that experience, this or something higher. Well, what I taught you today was really a gem. It's what I practice. It's what I'm practicing right now in some areas of my life. And it's what I've always practiced. And your imagination is it, just so powerful. And it can bring anything to you. So make a commitment to yourself. So you can listen to me, but get your calendar out for the next 30 days. Give your attention, isolate, feel, make sure you merge thinking, feeling, and imagination. You know, little children do this very well. And you're turning away from your 3D. So the next time you catch yourself worried about something in 3D, I'm not telling you to not be responsible, but where is your dominant thinking and feeling? Where is your dominant focus? Live out of your imagination. Sometimes I imagine two, three, four times a day. As a matter of fact, when I get 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 through recording, I'm going to spend some time in my imagination, already having it, not wishing and hoping, thanking for it in advance, putting myself in the feeling of it. A and um, you will see things will begin to happen. God will give you signs. Somebody said, we shouldn't ask for signs. Yes, you should. You, you stay 30 days, but you can't do it one day and then quit. And then, oh, the next day, uh, come off of Netflix. Come on, people. Uh, come off of looking at so much TV, the news. And create your own life. Create your own reality you know, reality TV, create your own reality because, you know, you create your own reality. Man, this show is so good. I want you to share it with your friends. Tell people about the Think, Believe, and Manifest talk show. Put it on your timeline. I have a lady, Erica from Australia. She always shares um, about my show with others. Do that because imagination is the key to your success. So here you are in your imagination with the God of the universe, with God's love, grace, and mercy with you. Nothing is impossible. Man, I have talked today. One thing I forgot to tell you, guess what is celebrating my 16th year? Guess who is going to be interviewing me? Dr. Dennis Kimbrough is going to be interviewing me for my 16th hosting anniversary. So grateful for that. So everybody, uh, make a decision to have a great week. Be playful with your imagination. Imagine, have fun, dream big, imagine big. And uh, I'm excited to hear just some of the great manifestations that are going to happen. And guess what? It has to happen because it's a universal law. Enjoy your week.